welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and in this Bitcoin video, first of all, let's start off with what I said in my last video. I said if we do confirm the rejection just here, and yeah, if we fail to get above that resistance level right there, we will be heading down in the short term, and that's exactly what's happened. But right now, Bitcoin is forming a brand new pattern that is potentially looking good for Bitcoin. And yeah, if you want to know my Bitcoin price targets, definitely stick around for this video because I will be telling you all of that in this video and more. And as always, I will be covering Ethereum towards the end of the video as well because Ethereum saw a breakout as well. So yeah, definitely make sure you're watching this whole video all the way through so you're not missing out on any of this valuable information. And yeah, if all of that sounds good to you, then please make sure to just leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on for more videos like this because yeah, I keep you guys updated each and every day to try and help you make money in crypto. So if you could just spend a couple seconds out of your day to go down and click like and subscribe, it seriously means a lot and it helps out the channel so much. But yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Bitcoin US dollar chart on the one hour chart. And yeah, I've been talking about this point of resistance on the chart for a few days now. Ever since we broke below this level, I said that Bitcoin will most likely come back up to retest this level. And it's important to pay attention to the retest because if we see a failed retest, basically a rejection from those levels, that will send us into more downside price action. And we saw not only one rejection from that level, but also a second rejection just here. That's where I filmed yesterday's video. And I said, if we fail to get above that exact level, we are in for some more downside price action. And since that exact level, Bitcoin has dropped almost 10% to the downside, over $5,000 to the downside. But obviously since then, we have gotten a small bounce and we have actually formed this brand new Bitcoin pattern on the chart. And this is a bullish divergence. As you can see here, once again, this is just on the one hour chart, but as you can see in the price, we've got a low and a lower low, but in the RSI, we've got a low and a higher low. So once again, this is a bullish divergence. And what it basically means is just in the immediate short term, the bears, the people selling Bitcoin right now have run out of steam. And we're basically in for a bit of a breather on this downwards trend. So either we're going to be looking to consolidate sideways or slightly to the upside. Now, the more likely scenario is that we do stay on the trend because the trend is your friend. And at least in the short term here, we are on a small downtrend. So just going off that, it is likely for us to continue on this small correction that we're seeing in the short term. But once again, this is just a buying opportunity. A few different patterns to watch out for right now for this trend to potentially reverse is first of all, if we see this bounce come back up towards around 55,000 and then get a rejection from that point and come back down, we could be potentially forming a small inverse head and shoulders on the chart. And inverse head and shoulders patterns are a bullish reversal pattern most commonly. It means that we have started to bottom out and we're beginning on an uptrend. But once again, that is not a confirmed pattern as of right now. That is just something to pay attention to in case we do form that right shoulder on the chart. And yeah, for that to happen, once again, we would need to form the right shoulder first and then would have to break above the neckline sitting at around 55,000 US dollars. So that's one reversal pattern to pay attention to. And another is a falling wedge pattern. So once again, this pattern is not confirmed whatsoever as well, but it's just something to pay attention to. If we get a small turnaround just here and head back to the downside, and especially if we form a lower low here, but get supported in around 53,000, that would be starting to form this falling wedge pattern, which is of course a bullish pattern. And also if we do form a lower low on the chart, definitely pay attention to the RSI because we'll most likely form yet another bullish divergence if we don't go too low on the next low. So they're all of the bullish things to pay attention to that could possibly form within the next 24 hours. But once again, the trend is your friend and we have broken to the downside out of this symmetrical triangle that I've been plotting on the chart for over a week now. So yeah, in that being said, we are technically more likely to continue on the trends to the downside. And my price targets for Bitcoin, if we do continue on this downside trend, first of all, we came just short of one of my major price targets, which is the $52,500 area. So 52.5K, that is the 50% Fibonacci level for Bitcoin on this retracement. So once again, that's a big Fibonacci level for Bitcoin. And zooming back further in the chart, as you can see, we got a massive rejection of that exact level back here in the beginning of March. So yeah, in around that level, around 52.5K roughly, that's kind of my first big price target 
target for Bitcoin if we continue on this downwards trend. But if we happen to break below that 52.5K level, my next massive price target for Bitcoin is the $50,000 level. This 50K level is extremely significant for three massive reasons. The first of three reasons is simply because it's a massive psychological level for Bitcoin. Just that big round number of 50,000 by itself makes that level significant for Bitcoin. Also drawing out the Fibonacci retracement tool from that low at around 43K up to the all time high, just shy of 62K. The $50,000 level comes right into the golden pocket on the Fibonacci retracement tool, right at the 61.8% Fibonacci level, which by the way, that Fibonacci level is probably the most important Fibonacci level on the Fibonacci retracement tool. So that's the second massive reason why there will be some huge supports coming in at around 50,000. And the third massive reason why there will be some huge support coming in at 50,000 is because the 50 day EMA is coming in at pretty much exactly 50,000 right now. That's what this yellow line is that I've got on the chart just here. That's the 50 day EMA. And basically if I zoom out to the four hour chart, as you can see here throughout this entire Bitcoin bull market so far, during these sort of corrections just here, Bitcoin has remained above the 50 day EMA. This is basically where we've bottomed out on quite a few of these corrections. And so yeah, I would expect Bitcoin to continue to remain above the 50 day EMA if we are remaining in this Bitcoin bull market. And once again, that's coming in at pretty much exactly 50,000 US dollars. So we have three massive things on the chart all coming in at around 50,000. So that really shows us that the 50K level is extremely significant for Bitcoin. And we might not even get down there to start with. Once again, we might get a bounce off this first Fibonacci level first, but I'm just saying if we do break below that level, the 50K level is extremely significant for Bitcoin. Also something to talk about is if we enter a bit of a sideways consolidation here because of that bullish divergence we've just seen, that could potentially be forming a bear flag. And basically you measure out the target for that sort of pattern as an AB equals CD. So you take the AB line into that sort of pattern and then you measure out to roughly where we'd break out. So let's just say we broke out around there. The price target for a sideways consolidation like that, if we remain in this downtrend, is also coming in at pretty much exactly 50,000 US dollars. So that's actually a fourth reason why 50,000 will be some massive support if we actually get down there to begin with. And honestly, if we get back down towards 50,000, honestly, towards around 51,000 will be where I would actually start to accumulate some more Bitcoin. Because even though the Pi cycle top indicator, which is an indicator I've been talking about for a while now on the channel, even though this indicator suggests that we might be close to a bull market top sometime soon, nothing about the top that we had just at 62,000 suggests a top of the bull market. Seriously, it's incredibly unlikely that that is the top of the bull market. Once again, these two lines on the Pi cycle top indicator haven't crossed as of right now. And even if they do, that is just one indicator of many that we should be using to determine the price of Bitcoin. Never rely everything on just one indicator. The whole point of technical analysis is to look at a basket of different indicators and tools to determine the most likely scenario. And usually on these big bull market tops, we see an absolute massive peak in volume. Just going back to the last big bull market in 2017, as you can see, when we were topping out back in 2017 at the $20,000 all time high, we saw absolutely massive peaks in volume that exceeded all previous volume levels. And at the 62K all time high, we saw a no peak in volume whatsoever. The volume remained quite flat. Even the RSI didn't even peak that much. We only just entered overbought areas compared to the bull market top of the last cycle. The RSI got up to nearly 100 on the daily chart. Also, just generally speaking, massive market tops, at least for Bitcoin, end in a massive blow off top where we essentially go vertical and then come straight back down. And that is once again, what we have not seen. So while in the short term, I might be a slightly bearish on Bitcoin, because just in the short term, once again, zooming into the two hour chart, I would be expecting a bit of sideways action or at least to the downside, most likely over the next few days and weeks for Bitcoin before we recover up to the all time high. But in that being said, I definitely do not think the bull market is over in any means. Judging from all of the indicators that I actually looked at in my last video that I uploaded yesterday, which by the way, if you haven't seen my video that I uploaded yesterday, definitely go check that out. Because yeah, going off all of 
those indicators. The bull market isn't meant to top out into around four to five months from now. So just after the middle of the year is roughly when I'll be looking at for the bull market top. And obviously that means we still have quite a lot of gains to go over the next few months. So once again, any short term correction like this, if we get down to these lower price targets of mine, especially if we get down towards 50 to 51K, honestly, I would start to re-accumulate Bitcoin down in these lower levels. But for anyone that has not bought into Bitcoin whatsoever, simply just dollar cost averaging throughout this correction would probably be the safest option to go with if you're holding Bitcoin for the long term. All right, and now here we are on the Ethereum US dollar chart. We're on the two hour chart for Ethereum. And just before we jump into Ethereum, I just want to thank you all for 6,000 subscribers on the channel. It seriously means so much to me. Thank you so much for all of your support. And yeah, if you're not subscribed already, if you're new to the channel, what are you waiting for? It's free to do so. Just go down and click subscribe. You will not regret it. But yeah, anyway, with that quick plug out of the way, let's get straight into the Ethereum US dollar chart. Once again, this is the two hour chart. And as you can see, we have finally seen that breakout for Ethereum. We have seen the breakout to the downside. And so this is now setting the short term trend for Ethereum to enter a downwards trend. I've been saying pretty much for the past week on the channel, ever since Ethereum was right back here, I've been saying that Ethereum is most likely just going to be heading sideways, sideways, and more sideways. And then we'll eventually break this support level of this resistance level. And that will set the short term trend for Ethereum. And as you can see, we definitely saw that break to the downside because we got an absolutely huge spike of volume that exceeded all of the previous levels of volume. So that there is pretty much enough to confirm that this breakout was real to the downside. And so now this level of support, well, it was support that has now flipped into a resistance for Ethereum. This is coming in at 1,730 US dollars. So in around that $1,700 range, that will be resistance for Ethereum to get back above now. But we do have some short term support coming in at around 1630. That's because of two massive reasons. The first and most obvious reason is because of the previous price history around that level. As you can see, we've got a massive rejection of that 1630 US dollar level back here in the beginning of March. And ever since we broke above that level, we have come back down to retest that 1630 US dollar level as support. And yeah, we continued to head higher from that level. So this level has already been confirmed as support once. So yeah, I would expect this level to remain as support for Ethereum in the short term. And the second reason why that is support for Ethereum is during the Fibonacci retracement tour, that is the 50% Fibonacci level, as you can see on the chart just here, coming in at 1630 once again. And the next massive Fibonacci level to the downside is this level just here. And this red line that I've just got on the chart, this is of course the 61.8% Fibonacci level coming in at around 1,550 US dollars. But something to definitely pay attention to in the short term, as you can see here, I've just pulled out the 50 day EMA on the chart. That's what that yellow line is just here. And right now we have seen a small bounce off that 50 day EMA. And this 50 day EMA is coming in at around 1,650 US dollars approximately. And it's pretty much gaining in value almost every day. So yeah, for as long as we can remain above the 50 day EMA in the longer term on the four hour trends that actually sets us into a nice uptrend. So once again, this breakdown is just a short term downtrend, but right now we are getting squeezed between these next two lines of support and resistance. And so obviously, once again, we've got the resistance at 1730 to pay attention to. And of course, the support coming in at just above 1600 at around 1630 to 1650 because of the 50 day EMA and that Fibonacci level, of course. Now on the one hour chart for Ethereum, as you can see, we also saw a nice bullish divergence for Ethereum as well as Bitcoin. So obviously, we got a low and a lower low in the price, but in the RSI, we got a low and a higher low. So once again, this is just a bullish divergence in the short term. And what it basically means is in the short term, we're looking to either head sideways or slightly to the upside. It basically acts as like a breather from whatever trend that we're in. And considering the fact that we have been in a downtrend, we're looking for a breather to the side. The trend is your friend in the short term. So once again, we're still slightly more likely to roll over to the downside in the short term until we get a nice bounce off one of these levels. And yeah, until we break above these resistance levels at around 1700, 1730, until we actually break above those levels, we'll still be in a downtrend for Ethereum. And breaking above those levels will basically cancel the downtrend and put us into a nice uptrend. And if that's the case, my immediate price target to the upside
upside is around 1,880 US dollars if we break above that 1730 US dollar level first. But yeah, this is about all I have to say for this video. Please make sure to just leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on for more updates like this. Also, if you have any feedback, questions, or suggestions for me, please let me know in the comment section down below. I actually got a really good suggestion in the comment section on my last video saying that I should make a video talking about my exit strategy for this bull market, my selling strategy, and what I'm going to do with my profits after this bull market. And so, yeah, I'm looking to make a video like that sometime soon on the channel. So once again, make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you're not missing out on that video. But yeah, if you have any other suggestions, just let me know in the comments down below. I try and read and reply to all of my comments on these videos. So yeah, if you just quickly leave a comment down below, I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Just be careful because in the comment section, there could be some scammers down there. So if you see any comment or reply down there with like a phone number, email, telegram, WhatsApp, anything like that, please stay well away from those sort of comments asking you to contact them. Please do not contact anyone you find from the comment section because it's most likely a scammer if they're asking you to contact them from the YouTube comment section. But yeah, once again, that's just about all I have to say for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.